My name is Stephanie Mortolaro. I'm 50 years old. I'm from upstate New York. Uh, I really love to hike. I love to do yoga and meditate and things like that. I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis about 30 years ago, a little less than 30 years ago. I was a professional dancer at the time. And I went through all of the typical, um, you know, methotrexate, Enbrel. I felt terrible all the time. I think I felt like I, I felt sick for probably 15 solid years. I, I left mainstream medicine and started looking for something else. And I found my way to stem cells. I think it was mostly through my father who is also in medicine and was supposed to have a knee replacement and ended up receiving stem cells and was golfing two weeks later. He was the one who really pushed for me to try it out. Oh, my symptoms before were not good. So um, I had a lot of fatigue, which I know is, is problematic for people with autoimmune. Um, and it's a fatigue that's there's no sleep that's enough sleep. I was having intense pain, loss of mobility in my shoulders, my hips, my knees, hands. I had a lot of problems with my feet, so walking was very difficult. So I was really struggling. I think the first thing that I recognized was I had had this cut on my face that was refusing to heal. And I fell asleep for several hours after the first treatment, and when I woke up, it had healed over. And I thought, wow, that's really interesting. Um, that was the first thing. And then I remember thinking by day three, I felt just very um, energized. And then I came home and I wasn't experiencing pain, and as time went on, it was getting better and better. And because I was free from all the pain, then I could start to support the cells even more so in my lifestyle. And I think probably the biggest thing was I saw my doctor maybe three or four months after the cells, and she ran a, you know, a battery of um, blood work and I came back with zero inflammation it actually looked as though I had no illness it was so startling that she thought that the blood work was wrong and re-ran the blood work but the results were the same so she I think she sent a lot of people after that actually she said she wants to come now too <laughs> I wish it was like this everywhere I went. We literally got off the plane. We were immediately greeted. We're whisked through customs. It was so easy. It was fabulous. It was, I mean, yeah, really easy. And the hotel's been beautiful. Um, we actually, our second, my second time coming was during COVID. So there, most things were closed down. It was during COVID. And we found that we could entertain ourselves completely for a, the solid week just in the hotel. <laughs> I actually came with pretty low expectations, if, I'll, if I'm going to be honest. I was hoping it would work as well as the drugs, minus all the side effects. That was my expectation level. Um, and it, I mean, it far exceeded those expectations for me. I went periods of time with no pain. I hiked a high peak, and I'm thinking way back to 27 years ago when the doctor said, you know, you wouldn't be able to do any of anything remotely close to that. It was a big deal. I remember when I got to the top, you know, when I hit the summit, I was like, I cried, I couldn't believe it. <laughs>